These are your lying straight leg kicks. Bend one knee, extend the other, lie back, and then kick up to increase your range of motion. These are your lying crossover leg swings. This next exercise is prone scorpion. Spread your hands out wide and kick your heel up to your opposite hand. This is your cat cow series. Make sure you try to segment your spine and imagine curling it individually at each vertebrae so that you can start controlling the smaller muscles that stabilize your spine. This is your push-up to downward dog to upward dog series. This is your alternating calf stretch. Get yourself into a downward dog position and then pump your knees, pushing your heels back into the ground, feeling a stretch in your calves. These are your knee hugs. Make sure you keep your chest upright. Don't allow yourself to fall down into them and try to stand as straight as you can while bringing your knee up to your chest. Don't bring your chest down to your knee. This is your quad stretch. If it's easy for you and you have a lot of mobility and you're getting your foot to your butt really easily, you can always try to push your knee back and then, if that's still not enough, you can kick your foot away from your butt to get an extra stretch in your upper quad. These are our lateral lunges. So I want you to make sure you spread your feet wide, but you keep your toes facing forward. As you do these lateral lunges, keep your feet flat on the ground. And if you keep your feet flat on the ground, that's gonna force you to get a deeper stretch in your groin and add up the muscles. Push your hips back and try to keep your spine upright so that we're not leaning and shifting over. Keep your spine in the middle so that we stay stable and we have a nice tall position. This will also benefit our passage. Make sure you keep your feet flat and both toes forward. This next move is your elbow to instep with a lunge twist. So you're gonna start by taking a giant right step forward. Make sure that your back leg stays straight so your knee needs to lock out and push up to the ceiling. Put your left hand down and reach your right elbow towards your instep, getting it as low as you can. After that, you're gonna open up to the front knee and open up for a stretch. Elbow to instep, lunge twist. Elbow to instep, lunge twist. You should be able to get a little bit deeper with each move so that your elbow gets closer and closer to the ground. The next move in our dynamic range of motion series is our triangle to warrior one pose. 
start with your feet apart, reach your hands down towards the ground, and then straighten that knee to get a hamstring stretch. Next, keep your back knee straight, lift your body up, and get a little bit of range from your hip flexor. The next move is an alternating pigeon stretch. This is a great way to get deep into your glutes and make sure that we have a great range of motion in our hips. So, you're going to bring your right foot in front of your body and you can trap your foot using your hand. If you're on the sand, this becomes a little bit easier because the sand will trap it for you. All we're gonna do is lift that back knee off of the ground, push for a couple inches of range, and then switch our legs. So from push-up position, we bring my other foot forward, trap it, bounce slightly, and then switch. This is your deep squat twist portion of the dynamic range of motion. Try to get yourself so that your toes are pointing just slightly out and get in the deepest squat as possible for you. From this position, use your left arm to trap against the inside of your left thigh and then open up as much as you can while still staying low in that squat. This is your open and hug move. It's great to open up our chest muscles and our rear delts and back muscles. Pretty simple. Open your arms wide, wrap them around yourself, and get a big ball hug. This is your straight arm swing to get a little bit of range of motion out of your shoulder. This is your back hand clasp with hamstring reach. So take your hands and wrap them behind your head so that they're interlocked. From here, extend them so that you try to stretch your chest and make it as big as possible. Fold over and then get a little more range by pushing forward with your hands. 